think Bill said something about the last couple playoff games that always have came back to the last play of the game. And um, I mean, I didn't realize that, but that's a, that's big because um, I mean, you never know when you're gonna have to go over, have to be in a situation you haven't gone over it, and um, you don't want to be in that. What do you do on a weekend like this? Do you sit and watch all the games, or do you get away and try to get away from football a little bit? What do you do? Uh, me, I'm gonna try to get as much rest as I can. But uh, knowing me, I'll probably be working out or something like that. But um, I will watch the games because um, I mean, I just I like football, so I'm gonna watch. And I'm a fan of the, the game, so I mean, obviously, I want to know who we're gonna play, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be watching. Uh, you, you have one of the highest rates in terms of catch rates in the NFL. Do you pride yourself on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like any receiver would want to, but um, I mean, it, it's it's definitely something that I that I definitely pride myself in because um, you want to be able to go out there and be dependable for your quarterback and for your team and going out there catching every pass. And, um, I mean, that's that's every receiver's goal, just going out there and catching every ball that that's thrown at him. Do you feel that you've earned Tom's like his circle of trust? I think so. I'm, um, with uh, all the work I put in during camp and then even just going through the season, just just staying in it and. And all the work we do in practice, and, um, and when uh, when I'm in the game, he, he trusts me enough to throw me the ball still. So um, I think I do. I think I did. You mentioned that coach brought up a, like a stat about the playoffs in the last games. How comfortable is it, or comforting is it, to have a staff, coaching staff, that has been through the bye weeks, yeah. the playoffs, so that as players, you guys can be like, well, they know what they're doing. Yeah, um, that's real comforting. I mean, we got a. Uh, of course, you got a coaching staff that's that's been through it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't doesn't mean everything because um, I mean, um, the Eagles beat us last year, and that was a first year coach. So um, we still got we still got to stay in tune with everything. Uh, we got to go over all the situations, um, offensively, defensively, and on special teams because you never know what can happen. You were, you were pretty poised uh, as your role kind of like changed from receiver. But what was it like to actually kind of like have that role kind of like important or major in the starting mm -hmm. season? Or in the middle of the game. Yeah. yeah, I tried to, uh, I tried to keep, uh, I tried to keep the same energy like everybody said. Keep but, uh, yeah, um, nothing. My um, my demeanor didn't change. Uh, I just tried to stay in it. I tried to, uh, I, I kept working. Um, I kept appearing like I was a starter because um, you never know what happened in this league. I mean, you, I've been in this league only four years, but I've seen a lot. So um, you never really know what can happen. So you got to stay ready because when the opportunity comes. You gotta be ready for it. The thing is, it come back around. Was it satisfying at all? Like knowing that you did handle it. Well. Yeah, honestly, um, I mean, I was gonna handle it the same way anyway because that's just kind of person I am. But um, knowing that um, when it did come back around and I was ready for it, um, we did uh, try not to miss a beat as offense. Uh, it definitely was satisfying.